Okay. Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we have discussed about how to add header, footer, page number. Also, we have seen that how to edit the header, footer, and remove it. Similarly, we have seen about how to add a text box. Now, in this video, we will see how to add word art and drop cap. The word art is a quick way to make text stand out with special effects. If you want to apply some special effects to a particular word, then we can use word art. You begin by picking the word art style from word art gallery on the insert tab and then customize the text as you wish. So in the insert tab, we have this word art option. So for that, you have to type something. If you want to apply special effects to the selected word, then you select word art option and you can see the various styles are available over here. So I'm selecting this. As soon as we select this or uh, dialog box appears and click on OK. Now we can see the effect, special effect is applied here. If you want to change the formatting or if you want to apply some formatting on the selected, you can select. As soon as you select this, a format tab appears and you look at this. Before, in the first option, we have edit text. So if you edit text, again the dialog box appears and you can change the font. Font is here, Arial Black. If you want to change another font, so change it. I'm going to select Bookman Old Style, this one. And you can change the size also. If you want to apply bold italic, you can apply. So I'm not going to apply and change. So this is what Bookman's old style font has been changed in this particular special effect. You can also select different styles. So you see, see the effect that are reflected over here. I have selected this one. If you want to change the color, select this shape field and you select the color. Shape field, the color is being applied over here. Shape outline. So I would like to select this color, but it is not being displayed to you. So for that, change the weight. Now you can see the border or the outline for every letter, every character, and that is having a different color, whereas the shape field is having different color. You can also change the shape. Suppose I'm selecting this. Look at the changes. In circular fashion. And select the shape that you want. So I'm selecting this one. So likewise, you can select uh, outline color separately and the background color separate or uh, the shape color separately from the world art style option. We are having these three options. So we have seen about how to edit text and look at this spacing. So very tight. If you select this, by default, it is normal. If you select very tight, look at the difference over here. The letters are spaced very tight. Then tight somewhat 
loose letters are applied over here, then normal and loose. Again, okay, there is a space or gap appears between the letters or characters. If you select this option, loose and very loose. So here the font name, color that we have applied is remaining same, but the spaces between the every character and letter is being changed and by default it is normal. So let us keep it as a normal. If you select this even high, make all the letters exactly the same height, both uppercase and lowercase. So look at this, the change. Every letter or character is having the same or even length. I am not going to apply it. It doesn't good look. Then vertical text. Vertically, it will, it will show you the text in vertical format. Look at this. So I am not going to apply it. Now next option is alignment. So how the alignment? Alignment. How the individual lines of a multi-line word are should be aligned. That is alignment. So if you think the right aligned, justified, left aligned. So whenever there are one more than one letters of word are, then only it will be shown as a effect. So alignment. So we have seen how to write alphabet and uh, how to apply word or word art option. Now I am selecting this and we have seen this option, then we will see this shadow effect. So suppose I have selected this one, shadow effect. Shadow effect again the position of the shadow can be changed. Look at this. The shadow and the actual word position can be changed from here. Then also we can apply the 3D effect that we have already seen while uh, looking at the shape. Same thing can be applied over here. Again, we can change the direction of the Effect. 3D color. The 3D color is also can be set. So this is what the 3D effect. So we have 3D color depth. The so minimum depth or default depth is 36 points. You can increase or decrease the depth of that 3D option. And rest of the things are saying that we have seen while uh, seeing the text box that is position, text tracking, alignment, and rotation. So, this is what word art which will allow you to apply some special effect to your text. So one, more, one more example. Insert word art. As I told you, you can change the font size, font name. It doesn't good look, so I'm going to change. Always black. And you again try these options that is character spacing, even height, every letter will be of equal height vertically applied. You can apply the vertical text and then alignment. So there are by default the center. So this alignment shows you the position of the text within this border.
Can we have the chat field? So that's it. We have learned about how to play with the word art option available in the world. Now let us look at the drop cap. So a drop cap, drop capital is a large capital letter used as a decorative element at the beginning of paragraph or a section. The size of the drop cap is usually two or more lines. Two or more lines. So this is what the diagram you can you may have noticed these things in a newspaper. So the first letter of the paragraph will be in a large scale or displayed in a large Look at this. Two different styles are available for the drop cap. So this style of drop cap is called as drop. This style of drop cap is called as in margin. So it may apply to a multiple line. So drop cap is a large capital letter used as a decorative element at the beginning of the paragraph or section. The size of the drop cap is usually two or more lines. So suppose I am selecting this first character and applying drop cap effect. So if I select this, we have three options. One is none, another is drop, and it makes it in margin. So I am selecting drop. So if I apply this, so whatever the size of this letter is, then this is called as drop effect. Besides this, this, this small lines are being displayed. You can change this and in margin. So whenever we select this in margin, so this letter is specifically so short to a left side. And the, the different lines are being displayed in this manner. So these are the two options for the drop cap. And next option is none. So if you select this drop cap option, again the same options are shown over here, but with the preview. So this is what the preview is shown to you. And you can change the selected letter font name also. Lines to the drop, lines to be drop. That also you can change. So, for example, I am checking for distance from the text, zero. You can increase or decrease the distance, and I am clicking on OK. One, two, three, four. So, four lines are being dropped. And also, the font of that particular letter is being changed. So, select drop cap option. Select this one. And you can see the distance from the text is 0 0.5. This gap. Now I am going to minimize it. I am going to make it uh, 2. And you can see the effect. See this distance is being decreased. And uh, that later or the character font font can be now different. So likewise, you can apply the Drop cap effect. So in margin, if you do it at a margin, then again, you select this. The same options are available here that you can change the font, lines to be dropped. Let us make it two and distance from the text, and let us make it zero. So this is, these are the effects of drop cap option. It is available in the insert menu. So, okay, we have seen about those, those two options. So, let us stop this today's video. Thank you all.